Not a bad day, huh? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you know, I've learned a lot about whitetails in the 40 plus years that I've been chasing them. One thing I've learned is that mature bucks are tough customers regardless of where they're found. I've also learned that no matter where you find whitetails, the deer in those locales will be relating to natural funnels. From the pages up is brought to you by Nikon, the trusted name in optics. In my first book, Aggressive Whitetail Hunting, I wrote that I've heard deer hunters refer to funnels by several different names. But whether they're called bottlenecks, choke points, narrows, or funnels, one thing remains constant. They are one of the absolute best places to wait in ambush for a mature whitetail buck. In the simplest terms, a funnel is any sort of narrow corridor that's found along the travel route of a whitetail deer. To visualize this, imagine an hourglass shape. Then assume the hourglass represents the entire range covered by a whitetail buck during his travels. Now, if you had to choose the one place where you'd have the best chance of ambushing that buck, where would it be? Even hunters who possess just a basic understanding of funnels should answer that they choose to set up where the hourglass is most narrow, here in the middle. And of course, this is a funnel. But a word of clarification is in order here. Although the hourglass illustration provided a perfect example of a funnel, I'm afraid there are darn few funnels you'll find while scouting or hunting that have the classic hourglass shape. However, that doesn't change anything about the way whitetails relate to funnels. No matter where you find deer, and no matter how they traverse their home ranges, those deer will eventually walk through some narrow corridor, which is the funnel you're looking for. All kinds of natural occurrences may force whitetails to travel through these narrow corridors. Water, whether in the form of a river, creek, lake, or beaver pond, may cause funneling. And in more developed areas, man-made objects, such as buildings, roads, fence lines, and open ground, may force whitetails through certain spots. Changes in elevation also may prompt whitetails to establish travel routes through certain locations. It may be an extremely high ridge that they'd rather walk around than over, or it might be a swamp they prefer to skirt instead of slog through. Regardless of what it might be, when an existing situation dictates walking through a certain spot, whitetails are restricted to a rather narrow travel corridor, and somewhere in this corridor, or funnel, is where your stand should be placed. And as I mentioned previously, I've seen perfect examples of funnels in every type of whitetail habitat I've hunted across North America. Lastly, remember that no technique for hunting mature whitetail bucks, no matter how refined or perfect, can guarantee success every time out. But there are some that are far more consistent than others. Waiting in ambush in funnels is one of those techniques. Remember, hunt hard, but always hunt safe. From the Pages of has been brought to you by Nikon, the trusted name in optics.